Okay, now in Excel, you are very familiar with our uh, worksheet functions. Now, worksheet functions, what, I do, what do I mean? Now, suppose we have A1 to A10 that has values, right? Say A2, 3, okay, and then we simplify things, we drag them all down. Okay, so let's say we want to sum A1 to A10, we do a worksheet function of sum, and then we'll do this, right? Okay provide the range and there we have the sum of 55 okay now we can use all these worksheet functions in Excel VBA as well and they are extremely useful all right so um, what we have done okay in uh, in summing a1 to a10 we're doing Excel VBA code now all right go back to our code editor okay okay let's call it as a subroutine okay so use the sum function okay All right okay now first okay we have to um, we have to declare a variable that contains the range of from a1 to a10 okay so we call it my range okay and my range is obtained from worksheets okay uh, sheet one then dot range okay, a1 to a10 all right okay so what we have done over here in this line is that we have declared a variable saying that um my range okay which represents a range okay now this range is in sheet one okay and in sheet one okay we from a1 to a10 okay so it's uh, pretty intuitive with from a sheet first at sheet level and then at range level okay so sheet one cells a1 to a10 okay now in this case since we're using sheet two okay it should be sheet two instead okay change the name of it okay now what we can do is we can declare another variable okay called um total okay that's an integer okay uh, and then we can say that total, the value of total will be obtained by, okay, by the sum function. Now, how do we call the sum function in Excel VB? We start first by calling application, okay, and dot worksheet function, okay, and dot dot um. Now this will appear all the functions that we can use, which is pretty much the functions that you see in your worksheet. Okay, if I put an S, sum, okay, I'll use a sum, okay, and sum, sum what, sum my range, okay, sum the range over here, okay, sum the range over here, and after that, I will output my answer, okay, total, alright, okay, and let's try this, okay, so 55, okay, so you get that? 55. Alright. 55. Okay. To summarize, I did first declared my range. And where is my range? It's in sheet 2 and from cells A1 to A10. Okay. Declare a variable total. And I'll assign the value of total from calling my worksheet function sum. Okay. And my range. So uh, the sum, as we know, is exactly the same sum as this guy. Alright, okay, so this is how we can use the sum function, and there are many other functions which we can use of others. Of course, we can use the dot of average, for example. Okay, oops, okay, let's try it. So, average is 6, 55 divided by 10, 5.5 round to 6. Okay, so average also, and of course, uh, others like max and mean. Um, okay, maybe count, okay, count, okay, and also say, uh, minimum, okay, minimum one, okay, and max, okay, ten. Alright, so the important thing is we can use the functions that we normally use in the Excel sheets in our Excel VB as well, okay, using application dot worksheet function.